Dearborn, Michigan is known as the Arab capital of America. In this Arab-majority city in a state that is home to almost 400,000 Arab Americans, many are angry over U.S. policies on the war in Gaza. I'm not happy with what's happening, and uh, I'm not really hopeful anything is going to change anytime soon. Um, even if Kamala Harris comes into play, I don't think she's going to be capable to do a whole lot of change. I will not be silent. Kamala Harris's campaign has been targeting Dearborn with ads showing her sympathy to the suffering in Gaza. Vice President Harris has chosen a side. But a political group with Republican ties is also targeting those voters with ads highlighting Harris' support for Israel and the Jewish faith of her husband, Doug Emhoff. We can trust she'll always support Israel. The ads appear aimed at the 100,000 Michiganders who voted uncommitted in the Democratic primary election to protest the Biden administration's support of Israel's military campaign. When Harris visited Michigan last week, the uncommitted national movement announced they will not endorse her. My, myself, a Palestinian American, that, um, you know, I've been a lifelong Democrat. I would love to be part of the voting bloc that elects the very first black female president. But Vice President Harris has not shown me that she will protect people I care about. Harris says she supports both Israeli security and Palestinian rights. President Biden and I are working to end this war such that Israel is secure, the hostages are released, the suffering in Gaza ends, and the Palestinian people can realize their right to dignity, security, freedom, and self-determination. While not endorsing Harris, the uncommitted group also opposes Donald Trump, who they fear is even more supportive of Israel. When I'm back in the Oval Office, I will support Israel's right to win its war on terror. They have to have a right to win the war. Another pro-Palestinian group abandoned Harris, says it's working to ensure her defeat, even if it means a Trump victory. I don't think there's any difference in policy uh, when it comes to Palestine or foreign policy when you talk about these two. They're equally evil. So it doesn't really matter to me. Abandon Harris is encouraging voters to support anti-war third-party candidates, such as Green Party nominee Jill Stein. In this swing state, Harris and Trump are virtually tied in the polls. In 2020, Biden won over Trump by 154,000 votes. And in 2016, Trump won over Hillary Clinton by just under 11,000 votes. But losing votes over Gaza may not necessarily mean Harris loses Michigan. The United Automobile Workers Labor Union, a key political force in the state, has endorsed her, and her campaign is working to boost support from black voters. If the black turnout goes up and every American voting goes down for the Democrats, will those cancel each other out? I don't know. With the unions out there banging on the doors and doing everything they can, the UAW, that's going to make a difference. Another because variable would be Trump making inroads with Arab and Muslim voters. Amir Ghalib, the Yemeni-American mayor of Hamtramck, endorsed Trump after meeting him last week. The endorsement carries symbolic significance. The city of Hamtramck is home to 30,000 people, many of them Muslim. It's the only city in the country to have an all-Muslim city council. Pat Siwida Kuswara and Rifan Duyastono, VOA News, Michigan.